just what's good you guys for those of you guys that are new make sure you like the video and subscribe we're going to keep it plain and simple today all we're doing is a q a this is like this kind of series i got going on where i link up with different family members whether it's baby justice whether it's a niece a cousin a friend a business partner whoever and you know, based on their view and perspective of how they think of me or what they think of that's going on in my life, I just say, hey, just ask me some random questions. I don't have this pre-written. I ain't got nothing for them to ask me. Like, this is straight, raw, off the dome. So, like, whatever questions you got for me, Eric, that you want me to answer, I will answer them right here and now. Okay. Celebrity, celebrity with the nicest booty. Celebrity. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised that is the fact that you actually got to like look that up. I do. <laughs> I don't be paying that close attention. You don't. I'm too focused on my own stuff right now to be worrying yeah, about gracious. booty right now. Yeah. But her name is um. I'm not gonna say her whole name just in case you. Let me see. But Kate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 I Okay, I'm a Serena Williams fan myself. I mean, because, you know, she had two tennis rackets back on that one up here. Back up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next question. I'm not going to lie, that one surprised me. I know. <laughs> what has been your favorite uh, program uh, for your beats? Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops? Yep. I will forever be with that program. Same here. Okay, now, what... VST, would you say, is many a favorite? Mmm. The two VSTs I probably look, I've been using the most right now is Purity and Arcade. I haven't tried Purity yet, but I, I love Purity. The sounds are so simple in there. Like, you just throw something together in three seconds. So, bruh, because I love Arcade. Yeah. Arcade is easily, awesome. oh my god. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's a loop synth app. Like, like, forget it. It's just dope. Okay, next question. Um, what is your biggest turn off in regards to females? Hygiene. Hygiene? Bad hygiene. Why? <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> oh my god. I hate, absolutely hate it. My number one pet peeve when it comes to women is bad hygiene. Like if I smell, the, the best way to just like cut yourself off completely from me on the first day, stank. If I smell something musty or stanking, <laughs> I'm, I can't do it. I'm sorry. But I ain't gonna lie. I feel the same way. Like for me, it's teeth. Like if she ain't taking care of her teeth, <laughs> like I love a good a good row of pearly whites, bro. Yeah. You know, like, cool, cause I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't like Cheeto yellows. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's just it's, it's not good. That's bad. Man. Okay. I um, like that too. That's what I like. That's another thing. That's another part of hygiene. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Favorite name brand. <laughs> I'm I'm be honest with you, man. I'm name brand. Oh shoot! Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Name brands aren't my thing. Like, if I like the way it looks, I buy it and wear it. I don't care what name brand it is. I can get with you on that one. I can get with you on that one. Okay, favorite form of music? All of them. All of it. Whether it's country, whether it's alternative hip-hop rap r&b 
It all inspires me in some kind of way. Okay, and what artist would you say has inspired you most? I would say there's too many to count now, but starting out, starting out, the ones that helped me develop how I wanted to sound was Andre 3000, Hell yeah. um, Biggie, mm -hmm. and who else was I listening to at the time? I was listening to a lot of Rick Ross and Nas. And then when Mumble Rap started to make its debut on the scene, people like, um, you know, pretty much everybody in that Mumble Rap scene, they kind of helped me dumb it down a little bit. See, I... Because due to all the people I was listening to, I was like, I wanted everybody to be able to enjoy my music, right? Yeah. So, like, there are certain tracks and projects I'll put out for the hip-hop heads, but if I want everybody to enjoy it, I had to learn to make... You'll make a commercial song. I had to learn how to make a vibing song that made sense, that was simple and not too complicated for some years. Cause sometimes people have to, I was like on my Kendrick Lamar vibe. Like, yeah, I know. Um, Kendrick Lamar is the only person where I actually have to go into Google or the dictionary to look up his verse so I'll know what he was talking about. Wow. Stuff just goes over your head. That's the type of stuff I used to do when I was starting out all the time. But like, I'll do it sometimes if the track demands it, mm -hmm. but like, a lot of times, I'll dumb it down so everybody can enjoy it. Okay. But it's still clever at the same time. Okay. Android, iOS. iOS. I'm sorry, I've been enjoying that Apple phone. <laughs> <laughs> at first, I was against Apple. I, I didn't want nothing to do with Apple, but when I messed around and got me an iPhone, I said, man, I love this. Bro, I went, I, it's completely reversed for me. Like, you know, I, I had the Apple for the longest and then, like, I got the Pixel. Yeah. Google Pixel is different from Android and Apple. Like, bro, like, is it? Yeah. I think that's a sep its own separate So entity. it's just a Google phone? Yeah, it's a Google phone. Well, I'm, uh, I swear by that, regardless. That's the best phone for both recording and capturing, editing. I do everything on it. Like, yeah. even the base model has so much memory to it and such a good RAM and that camera on it. Like, all you really need is that. Okay, so if you could do... If you had one talent that you just don't possess, like it's just it's just not in you, like you've tried it, it's just not for you. What what talent would you would you pick? Like if you could have a new talent, a new talent, probably swimming. That's right, you can't swim. I can swim if I got to save myself. And besides that, for enjoyment, if I'm dropped out in the middle of the ocean, I might as well give up, bud. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna. I'm be fighting the entire time. But like, if you drop me out in the middle of the ocean, oh man, it's my, it might be over with then. Okay, okay, okay. So I got you right here on this next question. In your personal opinion, me and you, all the time we've spent together, what is in your personal opinion, our most memorable moment. I'd say our most memorable moment was probably the most emotional moment. Not from both ends, but from your end. It was when I pulled up, and that was my first time seeing you in tears, was when your car broke down and but, I came to come get you. That was when your car had set on fire when you were at your lowest point. But I remember that. That <laughs> seems like it was so long ago. Yeah, it was about it was about a year about ago. About a year now. ago. About yeah. a year ago. Around this time actually. Yep, it felt like six months, but you you've been around since you got back from the Navy, it's been about a year or two now. Dang. It has. I got back at 18. It has been two years, yeah, bro. So I went through a whole year because you got started in business in December. Yeah. We went through that December already. Uh -huh. And now we're in the next. So it's like, it's May. So it's been about a year and a half now. But the come up after that has been ridiculous, though. Well, it's the same thing I told you and um, Bueno. Um, 
as long as you keep telling yourself that it's gonna get better, yeah, it and will you get put action towards it, whether it's baby steps, small, whatever kind of steps you take, it will get better. Because before, when you were in the Navy, there was a time where, you know, still living with mama, working 12 hours, seven days a week. I had no heat in this piece of crap car. I had I had to scrape off ice on my windshield every single time. <laughs> I, I had no heat. No, you weren't here yet. No, I remember having to go through stuff oh, yeah. like that. I had no heat. Mm. I was, there was some nights I would be almost in tears on my way to work, but I had to keep telling myself it's gonna get it's better. Gonna get it's better. gonna get better. Yeah. It's gonna get better. Rome it's wasn't built better. in a day. Yeah, oh, no, it's few, right? That's one motto I've been living by strongly, is better late than, than never. never. Yeah. As long as you're taking small steps. Small correct steps. Small not correct not. steps <laughs> in the direction your heart pulls you, it will always turn out right every single time. Just keep telling yourself it will get better. Okay. Final question. What is your true dream? Like, for instance, everybody knows I make music. It is like, you know, everybody in our circle, everybody who's around know that I make music and my dream personally and you know known it yeah. is like since I yeah. I want uh, the cartoons with Harry Potter I want to redo I want to do those <laughs> yeah. chapter for episode that is just my dream getting yeah. an audience with uh with, with, with JK Rowling yeah so in my way of doing that is music yeah what is your dream what is like this will happen before I die my dream is, you know, of course, you know, I'm passionate about music. I'm passionate about traveling the world and doing all these things that are on my bucket list. Yeah. Traveling all 50 states, traveling the hundreds of countries. I just, before I leave this world, mm -hmm. I just want to be a walking, you, known as a walking, you, you can do it. I, you've said that so many times. Yep. Yeah, everywhere I go, I'm just adding value, being nice. Like, money is not a problem. I've already checked off most of my goals. I got a wife. I got a family. Got kids running around, grown mm -hmm. children. Like, literally, you can do it too. My dream is just to live life on my terms, having fun, good vibes every day, and. Just helping other people accomplish their th have a better life. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, man, let me tell you, you've done that. You already are walking. You can do it to me because you had music out. I wanted to put music out. I seen how you did it. You was a walking. You 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 told me I could do it too. So. Yeah, if you work on it long enough and practice and perfect your craft, it, it might not happen when you want it to happen. But it happens. But it just happens. There's stuff I'm doing right now that I spoke three, four years ago. Mm -hmm. It would have been nice to get the stuff I have now then, but, but <laughs> at least it happened. It happened. It happened. Yeah. Just like how I speak all the time that I will be the first millionaire in my family. Um, I don't family. know about the first millionaire because I think that place goes to me. Well, the Lloyds and the Barksdales are kind of separate from the Dogans. Uh, I'm talking about on on that spectrum. Oh, on that spectrum. On that spectrum. Then, yeah. um, nobody in my family has done that. So like, what was, what were we talking about again? I just I lost my train of thought. You was talking about being a walking. You could do it. Yeah, I just want to be like the, I just want to break chains, man. Just like how we went, when we went zip lining and well, white water rafting. That. <laughs> Dude, like, we broke chains that day. We did. Because we nobody did. in our family Nobody ever did had ever that. done anything like that. Nobody. Nobody. Like, I don't know anybody in our family that had been white water rafting. Then we just, went to Folly Beach after that. Like, like dude, literally not like, even, like, yeah. That was dream practice right there. Like, oh, my God. Because I can see myself. Not, you know, we just chilling, we got money in the bank, and I'm just traveling with some of my boys, man. And we just, 
We just chilling, having fun. Like what? What? <laughs> like I remember you you looked at me and you was like, hey man, you was like, this is awesome. You was like, some and you was even FaceTiming people. They couldn't believe that. Yeah, they could not believe it. Back to back. Back to back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, didn't you just look? Like, yeah. Didn't you just do this? And now you're doing this. Yeah. I was like, hey man, now I'll say, imagine you're doing this every single day. Just but, yeah. always something new. But it also comes with money management. And yeah. Making sure that you're doing your part and making sure that you doing like you got to be doing the things that you're supposed to be doing. Responsibility. Like free I remember I talked to a kid that was like, I think he's like 18, 19. You know, he was getting his life together. He got off drugs and stuff. I was just talking to him because I kind of inspired him. Met him in person. He was, I was like, hey man, I said, people think that freedom is easy. It's not. I was like, when you're an entrepreneur and you're making your own money, it's responsibility. Because guess what? You got to manage. You think, you think it gets easier when you're out of a job and you're making your own money. It's, it doesn't get easier because now you got more to lose. Because guess what happens if you run out of money? Oh, so you're back in the pole house. You got to go back to work, or you got to go back to mama's house. You can't pay You got to figure something out. You got to figure out how to keep your money flowing or figure out how to add more income streams onto what you got going on in order to maintain yourself, especially if some of your family is depending on that income you got coming in. Yeah, I mean, cause they ain't. They, I mean, they ain't just handing out millions of dollars. I mean, no, they, they, ain't, they ain't. You got they, to work, you got to work for it. Got to work for it. It's like <laughs> one of the YouTubers I respect, named DDG. He makes six figures a month. Six. Six figures. He busts his butt to do that. His mama ain't had to pay her bills in three years. He moved her out of the hood from Michigan to LA. Bought her a house. Bought her a car. Help her set up her own business. I mean, he helped everybody in his family out. They all depended on him and he put in the work and now he's got three, he's 20, he's 20. Younger than us. He's 22, $3 million mansion. He's got a G-Wagon. He's got a BMW i8. Ridiculous, and that's your dream car. And he's got a Rolls Royce. And you know, my dream. None of his family has to work. Yeah. Because of what he did. And that's how we gonna be on and That's goals right there. Life. The only reason he did it younger than me was because he made decisions that I didn't at an earlier age. Man. I feel you on that. I mean, we both made those decisions like you. And everybody's, yeah. everybody walks out their own story. Like, you went into the Navy. I had military and naval, naval people show up at the school, try to draft me, and I said no because I knew for a fact that that wasn't something I wanted to do. That's yeah. my story. That's your. That's what you chose to do. This is what I chose to do. Yeah, I mean, and I don't, I don't. And you don't regret it at all. I don't. I mean, I don't regret it. Did I like it? You no, hated it. I hated it. <laughs> you hated I it. I hated it. But you don't regret it. I, but I don't regret it because when it comes time to upgrade from the house that we're in right now to whatever, then yeah, I could buy it cash or I got a VA loan. I know at the end of the day, like I have so many benefits. From like, doing your time. From doing my time. Yeah. That it was just like, it's just like, okay. No, I didn't like it. Was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was worth it. I didn't like it. I don't I wouldn't recommend to anybody <laughs> else. <laughs> but but I used it. I used I used the time the way I was supposed to. Yeah. I used it to build myself. I used it to you know, get a good credit score. I use that time to become a, you know, to figure out like, okay, how to be a husband. And especially after you got around the team. Uh, well, I got around the with. team and man, I, you, you went from taking baby steps of personal growth to making leaps of personal growth uh, after you got around the team. Dude. Oh my God. All the books and the stuff you listen to and no, <laughs> getting around the mint real what alpha males look like wow that was that that, Boy, changed, that right there that changed night right life. there that changed that, that i ain't gonna say i ain't gonna lie that changed my life i mean just in the fact that i knew i know 
I had never seen it. I had never seen somebody not have to work. I've always seen people have to work. Yeah. But I've never seen somebody work smart. There we go. Because anything you do, you're going to have to work. But, you know, it, it there's value. Like, like something of value. Yeah. Something that was going to... I've never seen anybody do something that was going to make them good long term because most of the stuff like you know you go you go over to like the one of the little factories around here walmart whatever see the people working that's just where they're gonna be remember me and you we both worked at walmart what 2012 yeah just checking on the on the time uh, yeah we both worked at walmart both worked at walmart 2012 and some people are um, still back there then, this was five six years ago there's some people we work with that are still there. That and that's bro. That's because they're afraid to make that initial leap because they feel like this is all they got. Bro, and it's cra and it's crazy because when you think about it, bro, look at those, look at those, like, look at what you've done, look at what I've done, look at what at what, what what we have done so far. In that time, like you became a much better producer. You released songs. You've you you started a business. You you've built it. up your own brand. You've yeah. done you've done that stuff. And in the same amount of time, I've been I've traveled around the world, done the Navy thing, became yeah. an aviation structural mechanic, uh, built a studio, uh, became a producer myself, uh, a master a master this way team. Like we like. But and then when you but then when you go back to Walmart, every little time that I go back to Walmart, you know, pick up vegetables. You get flashbacks. I get a flashback and it's further heightened <laughs> and it's heightened in the fact that I see my former boss there and I'm just like I still see I'm pictures. making more. I remember when <laughs> I was um I get when I think about I until you reminded me I didn't know I forgot you worked there I still remember <laughs> seeing you with them little janitor plastic gloves no, going, I hate <laughs> going into the bathroom uh, no okay so here's oh man so here's, and you told me you said you think the boy <laughs> <laughs> you said you think man I can't wait to have you in here because the booth is sound oh yeah. Back to what I was saying, he said, you think the boys' bathroom is bad? He's like, look in the girls' bathroom. It was disgusting. Y'all need to figure it out. <laughs> no, I, I, and I don't think, I'm not going to say it's females, <laughs> but it's Walmart people. And everybody know what I mean by a Walmart person. Yeah. People who, who look like they... They put memes up about it all the time. So yeah, you know. Walmart people. But I guess we can cut it off right here since we're about at like 30 minutes. Appreciate you guys for watching. This was this was some serious. This was some crucial conversations right here. We had we talked about some real stuff. We did. Those were those, some of those questions led to some really long tennis. You know what I mean? Like back and forth. <laughs> but appreciate you guys for watching. You'll know I'm uploading content as much as I possibly can. If you're new here and you made it this far, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I'll see you later. Peace. Woo!